Hello, it's Richie Harder here with a video how to do a simple macro in Microsoft Excel. And this is only an introduction because this subject is a big one. There are entire manuals and in fact books written on how to do uh, the subject a little more justice. Now, the best way to explain what a macro is, is that a macro is a mini program that you create within an Excel worksheet. It's nothing more than a series of commands given in a certain order that Excel remembers. Now imagine a worker on an assembly line given five components to assemble in a certain way. Each component has a certain weight, size, color, and so on. That is, they, have, they may have different properties. Then you give that same worker on the assembly line a different set or kit of components, and those components may have different properties than the set before. It's still five components put together in the same way, that is, the same sequence of commands, but each component may be different from the first kit or set of components in terms of color, weight, size, and so on. The worker on the assembly line is still performing the same number of operations with the same number of components, but the result may be different, and it may look entirely different. Okay, now let's get started with the macro. I'm going to show you the macro in its most simple form. Um, I'm going to add up these numbers. The sum will appear here. Then I'm going to multiply the sum times this number. The product will appear here. I will copy and paste the product over here and turn that red, and that will be the macro. I'll do the same thing for this set of cells, and the same thing for this set of cells, using the macro after it's made. Now the first thing we do is, in the version of Excel that you're using, find your macro section. With mine, I click what's called Developer. And over here is a macro section. Now, first you want to click Use Relative References, which is kind of like an index. That's where your macro starts. That's where the macro remembers the starting point. Now I'm going to use my reference point. It's going to be the first number here. And over here, it'll be the first number here after I made a macro. So I'm going to record the macro. First I click Use Relative References. Click Record Macro. It gives me the default name of the macro is Macro 8. And I will accept that. I will. You can use any name you want to use. You can also use a shortcut key. Um, I'm not going to do it for this demo, but you can use that. This is going to be a very simple demo. Click OK. And now, as you see, it says stop recording here. That means the macro is being recorded. So I'm going to sum up these numbers. Click Formulas. Click Auto Sum. And you see down here the numbers are going to be summed up. There. 9,278. Next, I'm going to multiply this number times this number. I want the product to appear here, so I click here. Click the Insert Function button. I use the Product function. Click OK. Now my first number is going to be this one. I click it. My second number is going to be this one. Then I click OK, and the product is 9,000, or rather 92,780. Now I'm going to copy this and paste over here. Right click, paste special. I don't want the formula, so I just want to paste in the value. Okay. 
Next, I want to turn the, this number red, so there. I go back to the macro section. Stop recording. So my macro has been made. Let's see if it works over here. This will be my reference point here. My relative reference. Let's see if it works. Is it going to work? I choose macro 8. Now remember, it's going to sum up these numbers. Take the sum times this number, produce a product, copy the product over here and turn it red. Let's see if that works. I'll click run. There, it worked. Do the same thing here. Click macro, macro 8, run. Same thing here. run. Now you could have also used a shortcut key which would make it easier. You don't have to click these buttons and tabs and so on. And remember every time I use the first number here as a relative reference. And that's pretty much how macros work. Imagine if you had to do this for hundreds of items, hundreds of sets of data. You can also have done, made the macro much more lengthy and have done maybe five to ten of these all together and recorded all that. You can do ten at a time or fifty at a time. And um, that's pretty much how macros are done. Until the next video, bye bye.